Hello everyone and welcome back to Stoneheart, where in the last episode we did a little bit of fighting, but we also did quite a lot of building. We managed to set up a forest, it is already budding quite well, and of course we finished off the, uh, or rather got the most of the uh, of the furniture into our shepherd and hunting lodge. There's a couple of things that are set to build yet though and may take some time. We've still got to put up some more decorations. We have a few uh, seats to go in there and I'm already making some more lamps to be able to pop in here. We've got some nice beds though and I'm going to replace these beds with the very nicest of beds. But that does leave us with quite a few other things. In the end of the last episode I mentioned that I would very very much like to get all of these beds out of here then I can either set this up as guest quarters or as dedicated crafting areas I'm I'm favoring guest quarters more than crafting areas can I can I get rid of this is it what is that little ladder doing uh don't believe I can. That is unfortunate. Uh, the, the ladders that, that just are hanging. Oh my good god, that is terrifying. Uh, the ladders that are hanging around in, in the area are um, a little bit not great. But this is terrifying. Smaller varnaces tend to flock around, uh, around them. Uh, they're, they're, these are not the small ones. These are the large, really, really crazy, gigantic large ones. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> we need everyone to run back. Right, that is a ridiculous amount of uh, firepower there. This is going to be a nasty fight for us. Oh, my goodness. Uh, as far as uh, what we're going to be doing with our township, I think we're going to be going with her, um, her mysteries. Uh, it does seem that uh, the... the majority of people fancy that as our focus and i tend to agree honestly getting that plus one for all stats is quite nice i mean there is a part of me that does kind of fancy the uh the special specialist weapons but once you've completed a town you can re-embark effectively and take the unlocks that you have with you. So if, if you wanted to play through the game nine times, you could get all three uh, end game unlocks and take them uh, with you to, well, your 10th village uh, would effectively start off with all of the things, absolutely all of the things unlocked forever, which would be quite amazing. And maybe we will end up doing something like that. Oh my Lord, I don't want to fight them in the forest. That's going to be awful. Um, how about we get all of you way back here, please? All of you back here. Come on. Back. Back, back, back. No. Don't get... Oh, dear. They're all in the fight. Uh, uh, this is an awful, awful place for us to be fighting at. I feel. Uh, myself. This is not clever. I probably shouldn't have let you get this close to the... Uh, to the forest. The one nice thing that you may have noticed is the uh, night horn is now actually blown. The, the night horn is genuinely genuinely blown. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I can't see their health but I'm assuming that we're winning because we've got uh, healers in there. I, I would like to think that we've got healers in there. Healing. Uh, hopefully. Our archers are not doing the greatest though. A smith from the Northern Alliance is available for bartering. Well that sounds marvellous. Uh, Iron Northern Helm. Mm, these do look nice, I'm not going to lie. Steel Northern X. Um, that might actually be quite nice. The Steel Northern Spear. I mean, if you had steel clothing, but I don't think you do. So I'm not, I'm not actually going to go for anything there. Thank you, but no thank you. Alright, come on then. Let's get everyone out here. It seems that we managed to win that fight, which I'm actually kind of surprised with. Uh, considering it was right in the middle of that forest there, and I really didn't fancy our chances with that. But look at all that Varnus meat. My goodness. That is crazy. Why, why has everyone stopped being panicked? Uh, the music had stopped, that is. I am, I'm fairly certain that this was still a dangerous time. Uh, what is that? Enchanted dust. Well, I don't mind that at all. Alright, let's have a proper look at this fight. Where are my healers? Hopefully my healers are there healing. Uh, I can't quite see them, but yes, they must be. Okay, well, I take it back. Our military is doing a bloody amazing job. We've got, I think, three swordsmen currently, two healers, 
and one knight, if I'm not hopelessly mistaken. Uh, so, uh, yes, you're a swordsman, swordsman, swordsman. Uh, you are knight? Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, Manu has received a new title. Let's go ahead and have a look at you. Log Splinter. Killed five minions of the wild. There you are. Uh, and you've got another one. Uh, Ravager has defeated 40 foes. Uh, the Recurve Desert Bow, Blood Letter for killing 40 foes. And the Recurve Desert Bow, The Forester for killing five minions of the wild. My goodness, that's a lot of stuff for us to go out there and collect. You get. I mean, you know, great, but whoa. But as I was saying all those many moons ago, uh, I would very much like to, as a priority, get all of our peeps out of here and probably just keep the beds for guests. We need to tart the rooms up a little bit more, I think. Uh, literally putting down some uh, some wall hangings. I, I was going to say some tartan, but then I remember... Wait, no, I live in Scotland. I don't live in the desert. That that tartan may not be available to, to my peeps, which is truly sad. Honestly, you know, some uh, nice uh, decorative shields with uh, with uh, like curtains of tartan hang around them. Be marvelous, but no, uh, that would probably boil my my desert dwellers alive if they were wearing that. Uh, however, where are we going to put our soldiers? I think we're going to start by moving our soldiers somewhere, and I believe we may actually have a little area that's suitable for that. Just out here. Hmm. So we do. And this would actually be kind of nice because at the back here we do have these little uh, little windows that would look up there. I I do like the idea of that. The only it's it's so sad that I can't modify a building once it's there because I could have had this as a little uh, little way over there. And this is why I didn't put a lip over here because I knew I was going to expand out in this direction. Still. Oh well, we're going to have to have some stairs over here, but that does mean that people going up there will pass by this beautifully appointed little uh, little nook there. So I think, uh, as far as things go, it isn't terrible. So let's start off by making us a uh, little access point, shall we? Now I was asked if I could uh, allow for more building on camera, because uh, apparently you enjoy that. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear it, actually, because uh, I do worry sometimes that uh, when I get get bitten by the builder's bug, that uh, I can get a little bit too uh, over-focused on it, and it reduces the enjoyment of the series by making it a little bit tedious to, uh, to get through. But if you are interested in seeing more than I am more than happy to deliver, all right, let's get a uh, little stairs all the way up here. I think that would be marvelous. In fact... Let's drive this one back a wee bit, just so that we have this uh, this stairs looking a little bit more intentional. Yeah, we'll drive it back one more tile again. There we go. And there. Perfect. I like this. Right, we're going to want both of these to be resumed. There we go. You may mine both of these areas. And then later on, we'll, we'll probably pop down an actual little little path there, maybe even connect it up to this road just down there, and it'll look quite intentional. We could have some nice night lights over here, which I think would be very nice. In fact, do we have any? Um, no, not really, which is a shame. Uh, we could... Well, we've got some stone braziers. I'm not entirely certain about sticking a stone brazier under the tree, though. So we'll just pop it there. <laughs> Uh, and try not to burn the whole town down. That would be bad, uh, in, in a word. In fact, let's move this one and pop it over here instead. And I think that would actually be quite nice. We will have something down here, but uh, it will be something else I think would be best there. Wow, that lattice window is actually quite beautiful. Burrow window. Ooh, really? Hmm, this is a different looking window indeed. That's the fresh air in. Um, I, I, is it for, for like in caves? In which case, ah, oh, I think that's marvellous. I prove greatly, heartily I was going to say, so greatly we'll just have to do. Uh, <laughs> I hate that. It's been happening quite a lot recently. 
I've spent a little bit too much time around my family, and my brain is mostly in Welsh mode, so uh, I do apologise for any any slurs or, or hiccups in my English. It happens when I'm around people and I can I can speak Welsh a little bit more freely. It takes a bit longer for my brain to switch back into English speaking mode. Uh, right, let's have a look. We definitely need to get these beds out there as soon as possible. Now, as for the building itself, I'd rather not dig into the mountain strictly, um, but I suppose we could do a little bit of excavation just to make a bit more room. But honestly, I think this this wall here would be fine. We could have it just coming out there. Maybe we could even have a bit of a make it a bit of an L shape with a, a little courtyard, perhaps a, a, a stairs going up to some sort of balcony from which you can get to the second level. I would like to give all of our soldiers their own private quarters. That does necessitate deciding on the size of our army. Currently, we've got three archers, three footmen, so that brings us up to six. Two um, healers, so that brings us up to eight, and a knight. And I believe it is only one knight that we have, but I would like two. Uh, so ten in total, I think that would be a pretty stonking good group. Yeah, I, I think that would be a very, very good group at that point. Uh, is archery after so, uh, swordsman? Yes, it is. Okay. So perhaps one of you is going to be a, uh, a knight. But I think actually having two swordsmen, two knights, four archers, because the amount of DPS an archer can bring to the battle is quite, quite impressive. And two healers. And I think that's all we're going to have for our, for our standing military. Uh, I, and I, I think I'd be happy with that. Maybe we, at, at some point, we'll, we'll set up a second one, but they will probably be more of a, um, not quite town militia, but sort of a militia, and they'll have a different barrack. Uh, I think that would work out quite well for us. So uh, for the time being, I don't think we're going to need to do much more than setting up this little area here. Uh, along those lines, let's get rid of all of this. There we are. And all of this as well just so that we can have the entire wall there available for our building. I think it's going to be quite nice. I'm actually really, really excited to get down to this. Now, as for our food, a lot of our food has rotted, but we are still gathering quite a bit of food as well. So I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I don't think we're going to struggle. What we may struggle to do is stockpile food. I don't think we're going to struggle in any capacity for the for food enough to feed our, our people. Uh, that part, I think we're okay on. Uh, Carpenter's two bench, carpenter workbench, engineers, workshop, and blacksmith's kiln. Uh, they're all fine. Don't really need to worry about them. What is our bonus for today? Day of Wisdom. All citizens gain experience 20% faster. Ooh. Well, well, well. I like this a lot. Uh, right. But since we're going to be going for her mystery shrine, this township shall seek to learn the secrets of the world in service of her mystery. Blessed, uh, blesses all citizens with plus one to mind, body, and spirit, and unlocks monkey-inspired decoration recipes. Let's issue the declaration. There we go. All right, I've got to build her mysteries shrine. I want to see how big that's going to be before I start thoughts on a temple, but it is going to be up here. Even if all it is is just a massive plinth, you know, beautifully appointed with uh, the shrine atop, like some beacon stretching out into the world. But uh, other Reyes children will know where to find us, uh, rather than some uh, much more sprawling complex with living quarters for priests, etc., etc. But I, I, I prefer to build the second, you know. But yeah, if if we're pressed for time, then maybe the first will be enough. Right, her mysteries shrine. What are we going to need for that? Now, I believe that will be something in here. I can only assume uh, her mysteries. Sh there we go. We need two lumps of coal and two dusty tomes. Okay, uh, two lumps of coal. Very well. That shouldn't be too hard for us to get. Can I make lumps of coal? Piece of charcoal. I cannot make a lump of coal. I'm going to have to mine for that. All right. Well, that's fine. That shouldn't generally be a difficult one for us to get to. But the dusty tomes, however, are a bit more of a problem. They're, those only come from uh, the crypts that spawn somewhat infrequently, honestly. Uh, so we're going to have to just look around for those. 
Let's have a wander. Are there any crypts about? I don't see any on the map, but... Uh, oh, no! <laughs> it's one right next to us. Well. Uh, right, let's get our army down here, then. Let's uh, move you guys out. Let's get you over there, and our archers too, please. Let's get you there as well. And again, I do prefer having the archers and my uh, melee squad in different groups, just because it makes it so much more more manageable. I, I can actually uh, work them as I would in, in a, an RTS. I, that is, I'd have the, the ranged units behind the, uh, the, the frontline morale destroyer that is my knight, since uh, I can only assume seeing a uh, heavily decked out knight, which is, you know, the equivalent of, of an organic tank charging towards you, blowing a horn with uh, great, great uh, fervor and dedication to the cause that is you not being alive anymore, is going to affect your morale just a tad. Uh, in fact, that, that is the whole point of the heavy armors, is it makes him more scary. Uh, right, let's get you back just a little bit. We want to wait for our... No, 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 bat, naughty, bat, there we go. Correct. Where is our knight? Uh, is the knight here? Um, oh yes, there you are. Sorry, my bad. But yes, I do believe that you are actually quite a lot more terrifying. Let's uh, move the entire squad over here now then, since everyone is together. But I'm just going to pause it for a second just so I can click on you, but let, so I can just confirm for myself. Uh, fruity flavors. Crafting is slightly faster. Eh, it's not so great for you. Safe from the sun. Light materials. Good airflow or just a handy hat. Should be enough. This halfling is protected from hot weather. Fantastic. Heavy shield. Defense and courage are increased, but speed is slightly reduced and heavily geared. This halfling is heavily armored and has increased courage and menace, but reduced speed. That is fine. Let's have a look at your character sheet, Joe. Uh, can we actually see your menace? Uh, no, I don't believe we can, but look! <laughs> 297 courage! She gets. I approve. Fortify, rank 2. Uh, you're a max level knight as well, so it's really never going to get better than this. Uh, job abilities, is there anything in here about it? You, you inspire those around you, drawing the attention of enemies with the horn, so that you are a, a perfect tank. Um, shout the knight intimidates the opponents, drawing their attention in the environment. No, it, it doesn't actually tell me uh, too much about your your menace. Oh, well. I, 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 I'm sure you're very menacing. Uh, by the way, Big Al, local hero, likes to walk a bit faster than others, except if they are carrying something which causes them to slow down greatly. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming you're not carrying anything other than your armor, and I don't think that counts as being carried. Some goblins somehow found an entrance, so our hovel and are asking for a bunch of wooden doors. You neither wood nor carpenter on poor. So, could you perhaps craft some for us? Alternatively, we're not afraid to fight them off, but we lack the means to. Uh, we'll brew some potions. Then we shall give them a fight. Please send the health tonics as soon as they are ready. Let's say eight of them. For good luck, will do. There you go, you can have some of our on poor health tonics. Thank you. I hope we're not injured, but fortune favors the prepared. May our friendship continue to take root. He hands you some glittering bags as compensation. Four oh, gold flakes. Oh, I approve. Thank you very much. All right then, peeps, let's get in there and do some damage. Uh, hopefully, we can get a good fight and get some dusty tomes out of this. Uh, I have heard that uh, some of the Dapplings in uh, the Dapperdale Discord have had a bit of trouble uh, getting some of the end uh, end game materials for making these items, which is a bit of a, a bit of a problem. Really, I hope we're not going to have to grind lots and lots and lots of these. Uh, there we go. Ooh, you are a, a corrupt practitioner of the dark arts. Well, you're dead now. Are we going to find? Any dusty tone? Would that have like popped out of the building or off a off an enemy? Is that a drop from one of them? Perhaps I'm not sure. I don't think we're getting one from you though. Uh, much sadness. It may be that we need to attack these at night time when the uh, undead are much more active. That's possible. Um, I'll I'll try to attack it at night time next time. A new partnership. Sasha, envoy of Clan Emberstone. 
Sasha Lightfoot approaches. I love the name. <laughs> Sasha Lightfoot. Uh, a small load-bearing stone insect bobbing along behind him. Friends, not long ago my kind were afraid of your kin, uh, of you kin of the monkey, but you have dissolved our purposeless trepidation. We have found in you a dependable ally in the above ground. Uh, trep uh, right. Verily, forsooth. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you as well. <laughs> We're not going to mock it. Though, honestly, I genuinely want to say this, and ironically. But uh, it's been nice knowing you as well. In rabbit culture, when a new warren is dug, it exchanges statues with its neighbours to symbolise a mutual welcoming. We know you are unaware of this, but have some, uh, w but have come to offer this for our part. Sasa gestures to the beautifully chiselled statue of smooth, cold, cool stone ornamented with intricate weavings and a golden core of what must be amberstone. This partnership is somewhat unprecedented, but we think that you may represent hope for us against the coming darkness. You shall see us again soon. Oh, and feel free to keep the cricket, Gollum. It would slow me down on the return trip. Farewell. Wait, cricket? Darkness? Come back! I, I don't think I'm ever going to get any answers. I should have just gone there. Uh, we are on it, because we are, but still. Cricket golems, though, I do know what they are. Uh, but, you know, in character, I don't think I would have. Where is the cricket golem? Uh, they're, they're tiny little load-bearing things. They're fantastic. They're workers who never sleep, never need to eat. It's it's marvelous. We need to be able to make our own. Uh, but I think there's very limited supply. Actually, I believe it may be an item we place. Do we place? Ah, there we are. Autonomous cricket golem. Item carrying golem that somehow works without a geomancer around. You can just have lots of these. Uh, though I believe you're limited to the amount that you can actually make once you've got the means to make golems. Otherwise, it would be stupidly OP. Uh, but as I mentioned, you can embark once you've done enough. Um, I, I don't even necessarily think it's, it's once you've done everything, but just done enough within the game to set out a new expedition. You take along unlocks that you've made up to that point, and also some of your your halflings. Now, that might be professions that you don't normally get or, or are very hard to get early on, but also some items amongst them, the cricket golems. So you can start off a new camp with ever increasingly large amounts of cricket golems, which would be quite cool, I think. This is the sort of game that, uh, the, 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 the kind of meta progression that I really like. That if you play it again, or rather choose to restart, it's, it's kind of like clicker games, really. It's a prestige um, start. You know, you, you, you go back to square one, but everything is a little bit easier because uh, you, you made uh, a couple of uh, good choices. Right, Amberstone Rabbit Statue. A beautifully carved Amberstone Rabbit Statue. Well, I would like to give this pride of place, but it's a... Uh, I really should have made this an odd number, shouldn't I? Well, that is quite, quite annoying. Uh, <laughs> I, I know better than to do that as well thing. It's my own bloody fault. Uh, what we could do is we could have it here. And a pride of place. Um, do we want to remind people who are approaching of our partnership with the uh, the people of Amberstone? I think we do. So we could have it in a kind of pride of place on, on our bridge. In fact, it would fit perfectly. I do need to move some things, but I am 100% on board with this. Let's pop these traps just over here instead. We'll uh, catch a few beasties, I'm sure, just out there. How many more traps can we place, out of curiosity? Can I afford to place any more? We might be able to, you know. Uh, in which case, sure. One there, and one over here, perhaps? Yes, by all means. And uh, then we'll have a beautiful rabbit statue right on their bridge. Oh, I think that's going to be marvellous. I do I do think that bridges need a lot of decoration. Uh, it just seems to fit in, really. Uh, do we want to put any more light out here? No, I think this is well enough lit. I will get to filling this in eventually, but it just won't be for a little while. I've got so many other building projects on my, on my hands. Right, we've got some light over here, which is grand. Now comes the really fun part of uh, us designing the building. Uh, all right, so let's get down to this then. So a new building design. I am going to want a new building. 
Hey, yes, please. And this new building... Sh oh, dear me. Why is that shown strangely? I don't even want to know. Uh, we are going to call this um, Barracks. Maybe the only one that we have. So with the barracks, let's uh, let's have a think. How do we want the flooring? Let's. Oh wow, we've got different patterns now. Has this been unlocked because our town is becoming? Oh my lord, that looks amazing. Uh, the town is uh, leveling up, or uh, no? Actually, I think this is probably with the Ace mods update, but that looks absolutely wonderful. All right. Well, I'm uh, I'm down with this. Let's go ahead and place down. Well. First and foremost, let's uh, use rooms. Uh, let's pause this as well. Uh, I think we're going to have this wonderful wooden texture, though I, I will say the uh, patterns here are quite nice. We might have these in the central rooms, but for the time being, we'll go with these beautiful wooden textures. As for the columns, um, yeah, we'll just go with raffia, and the walls will be. Uh, a pattern of Pavlova, Raffia, and Winter Hazel, and Ekru. There we are. Now, how many buildings, in, and how are we going to set these rooms up? How big do we want a single room to be? Do we want it big enough to have a full pattern? Uh, something like that, maybe? Sure, each individual room could be yay big. I think that is fine. Then we'd want another one similarly set up. Something like this. Then I want this one to be slid across. No, not up or down. Damn it. Slide that one back down so it's on the ground. Uh, though, that being said, I kind of would like the floor to be one further down. Can we set that up? Yeah, there we go. Just one down. There we are. Perfect. Now we'll just slide that in. That'll be two bedrooms, and then this will be the courtyard area. That seems fine. Uh, we're going to want then some large kind of common room maybe because we're gonna to have to have two doors there uh, okay well let's add in a couple more bedrooms first so another uh, room very much like this there we go I think seven was what we were going for yes it was all right so with this we're going to want to slide you all the way across we'll try and get the whole thing designed before we start digging anything out right, you're gonna have to sit right in that area there that actually gives us a decent bit of space and then i think one final room just down here should be wonderful so there we go seven by nine again this will be the ground actually no we need five rooms on each one unless we say that the uh, ground floor is the only one that's gonna have like a, a proper common room i guess we could do that, thinking about it. Uh, that wouldn't be terrible. Now let's move the whole room across. There we are. That gives us a bit of a room here for the, the sort of common area. But if we were to stretch out one more bedroom over here, and then we'd have some sort of balcony right there, the, set, the actual entrance to the ground floor, and then we'd have the... Uh, Upper floor just being bedrooms, we might even be able to fit in a, uh, maybe a little bit of a storeroom, something along those lines. That should be fine, I think. There we are. Now that little area back there is going to be a little bit of an annoyance, but I think we will be able to do something about it. I'll probably dig away some of the stone and access it later on to uh, make use of that space. Right then, now that we have this room all dug up, we want to go ahead and get a different type of flooring. Um, walls wise we'll stick with the same one I don't think there's any reason to change that but we could have more like a carpeted area or I, and actually I really like the, the look of this floor in particular so let's see what we can do with that something like this oh dear this is going to be just massively cutting into everything possibly we'll see now the building it does sometimes get a little bit uh, convoluted in how you can set it up, but I think we may actually have something usable here. We've got a nice little floor in there. I'm not entirely sold on it, though. See what it would look like with that. Maybe. What about you? Not quite, I don't think. What about this? 
That one doesn't look too bad, actually. Yeah, I, I kind of like that one. Thinking about it. Yeah, I'm on board with you. Now, these rooms at the back, they're not going to have windows, which is never a good thing. But uh, we're going to do what we can for them. Uh, we'll just have nice little doors, I think. Uh, green doors. Even have the door right in the edge there. Maybe even sneak a window inside or, or just have it kind of centralized. Um, we'll, we'll pop them just here and there. Have it in yon. Uh, you two are very, very lucky because you're going to have windows. Pride of place at the, at the back here. Uh, let's have a look at what types of windows we have. We can just get regular windows. Don't go for the ones with um, any kind of... Uh, Quality, otherwise you can only use those qualities, from what I understand. Uh, we could have... Yeah, I, I think going with the, the continuing pattern of having smaller windows kind of dotted around as if for ventilation is quite nice. And then on this side we will have two just here as well. You lucky, lucky so-and-so. Uh, in here, however, we will give you a regular window. And actually, you can have one as well. You're super lucky. This is now the best room. It's got two windows to the outside and one on the inside. Oh my god. Uh, let's hope that uh, the rest of your squad are not the jealous sorts. Right, we're going to want a nice door leading in. Uh, not a big old tunnel door. No, no, no. Uh, clay animal door. <laughs> We're not animals, how dare. Uh, blue clay door, perhaps. I want something a little bit bigger, if I could. Maybe we're going to need a, a door like this. I mean, it's not a terrible idea. Um, in fact, we could have a little little stairs leading in here as well. Um, we could do something like that. Uh, and then we'd have to have add a, a little bit of a floor just on the inside. We'll make it out of stone we could have something uh, something light well actually no let's go for clay on the inside something like that or maybe even there we are kind of a a, a threshold in there and on the outside we could easily have something a little bit oh we can't actually drop that down properly that's a shame uh, I could perhaps do it if I, I popped down a regular road first. Uh, what kind of road do we have down there? I think it may be this one. So let's pop this whole area as that type of road. And then on top of that I can now place uh, a road besides. And to actually build this up a little bit. Let's have that come out a bit. And then go for something nice and red on the inside. There we go. I think that's going to look quite nice. Uh, you know what? We will have proper threshold like that. And then we can have some flowers or something just outside. In fact, I can even pop that down. But uh, I'll wait on that one. Simply because we don't know what flowers we're going to have access to. I could give you some more external windows. And part of me wants to, so sure, let's go ahead and do that then. Uh, actually, let's bring them in a little bit closer together. Yeah. Nice. This is looking very, very nice now. This internal area, we can have... Oh, that, that red is kind of glaring, but uh, we can have a couple of additional windows in here. Maybe these with a, a hanging, wall hanging or something there. In fact, let's uh, just slide this up, shall we? Go. Same here. Nope. There we are. Maybe do the same on this side. Uh, in fact, let's just get rid of these windows altogether. And we'll have the smaller ones instead. Let's get rid of you. I'll make sure we don't delete the entire building. That would be rather frustrating, and it wouldn't be the first time I've done it either. Uh, yeah, we'll have something like this going on. Though, the fact that this is butting right up against the edge there, it's a little bit off-putting. You know what? I think we are actually going to change this up a bit. Let me uh, move these along. 
we are instead going to go with a regular door. And we'll be able to fit that in now if we bring all of this just together. That kind of works out well for us in the end. And we can have something like that or a proper solid door. There we go. And that means that on the inside, that, that does actually work out a little bit better for me. Uh, because it centralizes things. It's not centered with this, which is a bit of a shame. But at the same time, it doesn't need to be centered with it, really. Um, that being said, having having the door go straight up there would be visually more appealing. So, going back to the drawing board, I know, I know. This is why I usually cut this out, because I do um and ah quite a lot over these sort of designs as I try to make sure that everything lines up in uh, a meaningful way uh, but we could have something like that uh, right let me go back to drawing the floors just to make sure that we've got all of that in position and then we can consider what else we're doing after that I'll go with cloud well no, let's go with uh, raffia for now and we can actually have a much nicer designed uh, threshold as a result of this in a way uh, I'm going to need to pop down a hole. There we are. Bunk. And pop in this. Now, question is whether that's going to cause any kind of uh, large issues for us, but hopefully not. We will have to see, though. I want something very, very light. Um... Maybe light ash will do. And something like that, yeah. I think that is going to work very nice. Uh, we can even perhaps build something up there and have a, have a little uh, fence going across it. Oh, actually, that would be really pretty. I think that would work fantastically well. Where would we find the fences? Here we are. Could we do something like that? We could have a little fence there just leading in. One there. It doesn't, we don't really need to rotate these ones. And uh, we're going to want one just on the side. Let's see what we can do. Yep, looks like we've got it. Ah, not quite. Um, no, not quite. That, that, that's a shame. Uh, but it's fine. We will make do. This is a awkward design because of the fact that it's very it's even we could then expand this out by one more tile i guess just so that we can have that very nice uh, effect going on like that and then we can pop down the uh, post in fact if we pop a little hole there that that makes it look even more intentional that that is a step oh i like that I like that a lot. I think we have got it. There we go. Oh, that's going to look beautiful. We can even have lanterns. I'm, I do apologize for that big old uh, red eyesore down there, but uh, well. Okay, so that is the uh, the lower floor. We'll have some light in here, some lanterns, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, we won't have a an external window there because it would interact poorly with the the post there. Uh, in fact, I'm thinking that having these windows here would be a mistake because that gives us the opportunity then to raise up a, uh, a short um, stairwell just going up the side here. Uh, alternatively, I could have the stairwell going up the side along there. I'm not entirely certain on that. Uh, we could even have a ladder, but a ladder does not seem right. Uh, I'll be honest with you. The ladder really doesn't seem right. We would need this one tile taller to reach the the upper levels. But I think we can do something along those lines. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, we're going to want the next uh, level. So we'll drop down some new rooms. Uh, much the same as we had previously. Wooden floors. Grab these. Exactly the same, hopefully. There we go. We are going to have to do a little bit of painting on the outside, but uh, that shouldn't be a, a large problem. And we can now very quickly follow the pattern that I've already got uh, laid down. There we are. The only thing that is going to change significantly 
is we're not going to have this be as large of a of a, a floor up here. Uh, let's go and grab stone, though. We're going to want... Uh, actually, no, it was this one. There we go. Uh, just draw that down. There we are. And then with this wall, we just need to expand that backwards. There we are. Perfect. But this is where we're going to want to draw this in a bit. Uh, I'm going to say that out here we're going to want some sort of wooden platform. And in fact, this is largely going to be uh, open. I don't think it makes much sense for this floor to be uh, that clay. Let's go for something else. What did we have in this uh, room? Uh, we actually had this floor. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't look right, but... Um, Let's try this. What what would that look like for us? Mm, I'm not sold on it. Not sold at all. We could just go with a flat col uh, color. I'm not sold on that either, though. I guess we could have the blue. It would look a little bit out of out of place, if I'm honest. How about that? Oh, that that looks a lot better. There we go. We found what we needed. And over here. We're going to have an archway just leading into this area. There we go. And it will look absolutely marvellous, in my opinion. There we are. Right, that gives us a, a better idea of the platform that we're going to need. We're going to want wood for the outside, I'm going to say. Let's go with this colour for the wood. There we are. Nice and simple. As for this... I think we're going to need to paint that a bit of a darker colour, certainly, to designate the uh, the boundary of the floor. But we don't want it to be such a garish colour, um, so out of place with the oh, drop down blast. Let's uh, undo that. So out of place with the rest of the building. And the same back here. We just need to colour that in there. There we go. Perfect. I think that'll be fine. I mean. We are afforded an opportunity to see through the universe. So, really, we'd be dumb not to take this opportunity to uh, paint the, the side of this structure properly. There we go. Uh, I mean, who knows what I'm going to dig up later and then uncover. No, that is, that is amazing. I'm very, very pleased with that. Right, that does mean that we can now have a look at the stairs. Uh, I would like to still be clay, though. And uh, Raffia, if we can make it. That would work marvellously. Let's pop that there. We just have to go up and around. Oh, I'm liking this. We could perhaps even add in a few little uh, little decorations there, but I, I think for now, we'll just leave that as is for the time being. I am going to need the same colour of wood for this top part of the stairs, though, I would say. That being said, I am thinking more and more that this was the nicer pattern to have up there uh, perhaps we could just remove this floor hopefully can we get rid of you by itself we can oh my goodness you can't always undo that that uh, easily so it's always a bit of a hold your breath moment am i gonna have to redesign massive parts of the this build but no in this instance that was not necessary and I'm extremely thankful for it. Uh, yeah, we'll go back with Raffia then. In that case, that's marvellous. Now, I would like the uh, the floor to come out a little bit. Or at least that was the original design. Or the original design I had in mind. But looking at this now, I'm starting to wonder if I should. I'm starting to wonder if I should. Perhaps I should just let this be a, a little path up there. Hmm. Could I shrink that? I could, yes. Uh, apparently, can I move it around? It is all part of the same building, but because I've colored that one part, that is now something else. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of that then. <laughs> ah, this game. It can be a little bit janky on occasion. It does enjoy being a little bit awkward at times. Uh, I realized that I needed to create the proper style of entrance over here. There we go. Something like this would be lovely, I think. There we are. 
And that also helps us in giving us a platform for building out this floor over here. Because as I mentioned, I do want the floor to be a little bit uh, different. But should I just make this a very narrow little stairs? I mean, this stairs is nice and wide. It's four wide, in fact, whereas this would only be three. Um, but I think there's something about that that is kind of pleasing. So, sure, we're going to have this little little nook over here. Have a stair going all the way up there. There we go. And that stair does now need to be made a little tiny bit more now. There we are. In fact, let's uh, make this a bit tall. Can we, can we really not make it taller at all? For some reason, we can't, it seems. Nope, can't make it any taller than that. Why does it allow me to lower the height but not increase it? Well, that part I am quite, quite uh, confused about, but okay. There we are. That works for me, for now. Right, now with that in place, we can go back to the floors and flesh this out a little bit more. There we go. Now we're going to need a wall down here as well. Something like that. There we go. But of course, we're not just going to have this, this ruddy great old wall just uh, cleaving our beautiful building in two. No, 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 no. We're going to have something like this. Another arch just leading through there. Do we want an arch over here? Sort of but also not really. I think we might be able to have a really nice effect with the windows. Let's have a look at what we can do here. Um, maybe not, maybe not. No, that's a, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, I, well, actually, I guess we could have two windows there. Sort of works. Mm, I, think, I think we're just making it busy for the sake of making it busy now, though. So... Uh, part of uh, part of art is knowing when to stop when you you've done enough. I definitely think that's that's the case there. But perhaps just a few little nooks there is more than enough. Um, do we have anything that would work there? Maybe actually, let's uh, see if we could have that in popped in there. Would we want it though? Again, I think I think it might be a little bit too much. I do feel that we need something else on this wall. Actually, that wall could be used for a wall hanging of some sort, and a light source indeed. Uh, so, no, oh, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna keep with that then for now. Uh, I am going to want to continue this pattern though, uh, somewhat. Not not fully, but close enough. Uh, I am going to then want to grab this color because we are going to want to paint the perimeter in that. There we go. All the way down as well. Marvellous. And in fact we'll add a little bit there. We can have some uh, some extra supports up here. Ah, oh, this is going really well. <laughs> I'm really liking this build, despite the fact that I'm doing it live. And it, that's always asking for trouble. I, I've got to be honest with you. That is basically just asking for trouble. But no, I think this has come together really well. And this one can be... Uh, a door on the outside. Once again, though, we're going to need uh, regular windows, I think. But you're going to get one just going straight out, and then two at the back as well. One there, one there. Actually, these are a little bit too low down. They need to be one tile higher. Yeah, much uh, higher up, in fact. There we go. i just oop, slide this one up. Now, I'm not going to fully decorate the building. That's... Uh, it's too easy for things to go awry doing that, in my opinion. So, instead, we're just going to get the main features in. The windows, the doors, the uh, the, the colours of the, of the ground. The things that I'm not going to be able to change easily once it's done. But uh, on this side, I guess you are going to be able to have some windows, aren't you? Hmm. Sure. Let's go ahead and give you two big old windows there just facing out that, that'll be lovely for you in fact we could have those big windows at the top but i i recall uh, the original um designs quite a lot of comments coming through explaining why you would have windows in a certain way for in the desert 
to help with um, dealing with heat. And uh, I have tried to keep that in mind as we've been designing this, but uh, I, I know I've probably uh, made some very uh, silly design choices with that, uh, with that in mind, but still, I like what we've got, I think, mostly. I, I mostly like what we've got, I think. Oh, that works. Uh, that actually works surprisingly well. Wow, okay. Uh, now, down here, we're going to want to do the same. There we are. We should have a couple of other options as well. Uh, sure, we'll pop this in place. There you go. Oh, that works out very well. Marvellous. Let's pop you down. Excellent. Right. Let's hope that this side is also evenly positioned. That is a big part of me, I'm going to confess. And I know I know that quite a lot of people will be very quick to assure me that this isn't the case, but there's a huge part of me that's like, this entire episode has just been me building. I, I barely made any progress. Most of the episodes have been on pause. But still, I hope that this looks like a really nice build. Um... And I'm not going to have enough time to record like a like an hour or two hour long episode in order to cut it down and have, you know, a decent amount of game progress as well as the building. Uh, so, you know, this is, uh, I guess, in part to show people that, yeah, it, it's probably good that I, I cut out the building sometimes. Um, but I'm going to be going away for the beginning of the New Year's celebration in Edinburgh today with my family. So uh, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, spend as much time uh, editing the videos as I would normally like to. Um, you know what? Let, let's let's not do that. Let's not put the roof on it. That's It's going to let all the vein in. No, no, no. Uh, I, I do like this roof, so let's go with this instead. Go away. Uh, let's go back to the roofs. There we go. And... Oh! Exactly... The, what? Hmm. Not quite what I meant to do. Uh, right, okay then. Is it this one? It was. Well, you know what? That isn't a terrible move. If that's considered. Pop you there. Now that will involve a little bit of digging in order to get that to work. Um, which is awkward. Uh, I may have to change that up a bit. But over here I can do the same. does actually look quite nice. It's nothing like any of our other designs, though. So we can't keep it like this, but I think we can work with it. Let's bring that down a bit. Same over here. There we go. Yeah, I, I definitely think we can work with this. We can make this work. Right, I'm going to need to carve a hole in the roof. Probably around here, all the way across. Like so. Just so that this doesn't dig into the mountainside. And down there we'll easily be able to dig that up, so that's that's not a problem for me. Um, but actually, I guess over on this side we don't need it at all, do we? There we go. That should be fine. And we'll just allow that... Well, actually, given that, since I'm just going to be taking off that entire corner, what I can do to save having a kind of conspicuous lip there... I can go all the way through that area. There we are. That side will just dig up the wall there in order to make it work. But over here, this one I think we're going to take off... Uh, no, we're going to take off the back. There we are. That actually looks really, really good. Uh, now, of course, I need to paint it to match the coloration. So I need to grab this color. No, that is not what I wanted. Please. Why? I need the eyedropper. There we go. And then we just keep that pattern going all the way down. It is going to throw things off a little bit over there, which is a bit of a pain. But um, Well, in a way, it's not that much of one. Because if you notice, the pattern over here is for this dark line to be right against the the edge 
But that isn't the case down here because it was not the uh, right number. But we could make it look intentional in a way. This is still going to be, you know, slightly lo uh, larger of an area than elsewhere. But I think we can make that work. Oh. There we go. I was using it wrong. That was all on me. I was getting it wrong. There we go. And then we could just make this part uh, a little bit uh, bigger than usual. There we go. Though that is now really obviously wrong. So I uh, might want to change that up a bit. I think, though, for the most part, that looks okay. I guess it wouldn't hurt if we just had the black go all the way down there like that. I mean, it, it, is, it is a different part of the design, so it, it kind of stands to reason it would be slightly different. But there we go. That should be an absolutely wonderful barracks, I think. And if we uh, just have a look down at the bottom here, if we turn on slice, I think slice should work. No, slice does not work because it's not a uh, not a finished building yet. But if we head on inside, we've still got the nice little rooms here. In fact, if I turn slice back on, but I turn off the walls. Ah, there we are, perfect. Yep. Looking very good on the inside as well. I'm really, really happy with this build. And I hope you are as well. All right, there we go. So, uh, just once more. We've got all the doors. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm not at all worried about downstairs. But one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there we go. Marvelous. And this will be our barracks. Perfect. And that, that actually brings us quite far up the hill at that point and it has got enough room for our expanded military to boot uh, i think that uh, that couldn't possibly have gone better really uh, except maybe there's a slight that i could do with the wall over here I, 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 i'm always gonna find something more to do aren't i i apologize i try i try to hold back i just find it very difficult to do uh, i think the wall will look a little bit better if we do it like this uh, there we go. And have that, that tiny overhang there. Uh, very, very intentionally to allow for that. There we go. And then this there. Or would it be better to bring that wall all the way out? I think it might be better to do something like this instead. There we are. That actually looks a lot better, in my opinion. Perfect. And then this is uh, very specifically now supporting the, the roof up top, and whereas this is this is more of a, a picturesque sort of thing. Okay, I think that is good enough. Uh, it's also good if I, uh, if I type the name correctly. All right, so we're going to need more clay. A decent bit more clay, actually. Well, we can make that happen. I think we're good. We're going to save this building. Yes, please. There we are. And build. There we go. Right. I do apologize that it took me so long to get that built, but I hope that the results were worth the uh, the investment of time. I think that's going to be grand to have all of our military move out. We can appoint each room depending on the particular desire of each member of the military because this is not going to be moving around much this is a very specific building for a very specific purpose and we're not really going to be changing up our military much beyond that oh look at that you look go oh that's fantastic we're not going to really be changing up our military because it takes us so long to get them trained that uh, once they've got a room it's going to be their room for the rest of uh, this town's existence and what we're going to be able to do as a re direct result of that is actually put things in the room that we know that particular person loves uh, for example if we go and have a look at big al over here let's bring up your character sheet uh where is all of that appeal over here so for example you love cathedral arch chairs and iron barn hat you're not getting that in the room big al I'm, I'm sorry but uh may maybe i could put in a an arctic juniper tree sapling for example, I w really hope there are other things, but what we absolutely will not be putting blue clay kibble bowls in your room. 
it's fine. I'll try and avoid anything that anyone dislikes, even if uh, some other members of the uh, of of this squad happen to like them. I'll try to avoid that at all, anywhere in the barracks. But uh, just to uh, go over exactly what we're going to be doing again with all these rooms, the rooms themselves, obviously the smaller rooms are going to be bedrooms. The larger rooms, and up here especially, up on the top floor, are going to be equipment storage. Uh, so we'll have like a common room in there, probably have uh, a couple of tables actually outside. You know what, I think that would be a bit nicer so that uh, my, my military can eat there their food outside looking out across the uh, across the settlement but uh, we will have a bit of storage you know butted up against the walls and, and inside as well for equipment armor weapons that kind of thing perhaps even any consumable tonics not that they really work that way but I, I still feel that it, it makes sense for them to have that but that is gonna be it for me for now I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode and a kind of a glimpse into the architectural process or rather my designing process when it comes to uh, buildings in this game and i hope you're looking forward to the next episode we might not have this building done for a couple of episodes i'll be honest but uh, it depends on how much time i have to record the next few episodes whether i can uh, put a decent amount of recording down and then kind of cut it and uh, pass up uh, have a few time skips that sort of thing but uh, very soon we're going to get back to working on the moat for our front walls, uh, putting in the walls around our defenses, and of course, way back here, putting in proper walls at the back uh, over here. I think what we'll almost certainly start with is a wall, much like we've got at the front, just cutting up this section. We're not gonna make a way out of our settlement in order to do it, so it's gonna take a long time to do, because we're gonna have to travel around, or maybe I'll lay down a temporary fencing, much like this one, across this little area so that we can demolish this and work in peace. But uh, once that wall is complete, then we'll consider where we're gonna expand out to. But I still think it's a good chance that it'll be something like this, like an L shape there. And that'll give us a bit more um, wilderness land for the colony. But that is gonna be it from me for now. I really do hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope to see you in the next, but until then, and as always, do take care everyone. <laughs>